As with every lift, your bench press progress will eventually stall or plateau. While many trainees can benefit from increased volume or frequency when this happens, adding variations can be another viable option. Some of these variations are known as underload variations. These are variations of the movements that are intentionally made more difficult so you cannot use as much weight, but the relative intensity, or how hard the exercise feels, will still be high. Paused Bench Press Set up exactly as you would for a standard touch-and-go bench press, except with substantially less weight. Lower the bar so that it touches the chest, but do not relax or lose tightness. After pausing for the prescribed amount of time, press the bar back up to the starting position. The paused bench press can be done for one, two, or three counts. The longer the pause, the higher the relative intensity should be, and therefore the lower the weight on the bar should be. The pause will nullify the stretch reflex that is attained through the standard touch-and-go variation, making it much more difficult. Close Grip Bench Press Set up exactly as you would for a standard bench press, but take a grip on the bar that is more narrow than normal. There is no correct width for this, but putting the index fingers somewhere near the center knurling is a good place to start. Remember from the Bench Press 101 video that the best place to touch the bar on the chest is the spot that facilitates vertical forearms. With our now closer grip, this means that we will have to touch the bar lower on the chest, closer to the sternum, in order to maintain vertical forearms. With this variation, it is likely that you will be able to press less weight than with a standard grip due to the greater moment arm between the shoulder joint and the bar, as well as the lessened impact the pectoralis muscles can have on the movement. Pin Press Set the pins or spotter arms up so that they catch the bar as close to the normal bottom position of the bench press, just touching the chest. It's okay to set the pins so that they catch the bar slightly higher if this is the closest you can get. Perform the pin press by lowering the bar so that the weight fully sits on the pins before pressing it back up. Don't tap the pins with the bar. Let the bar rest fully on the pin for a second, but don't lose tightness or relax, as this will make the pressing portion more difficult. The pin press will not allow you to utilize the stretch reflex or bounce off the chest, meaning it is likely that you will have to use less weight than during your standard bench press. Incline Bench Press Set up the bench at about a 45 degree angle, with the bar set higher in the rack than usual. From this inclined position, perform the bench press as usual, touching the point on the chest that facilitates the most vertical possible forearms in the bottom position. You should expect to be able to use significantly less weight with this variation than with a standard flat bench press. Board Press Set up exactly as you would for a standard bench press. This variation will be easier with another person helping you. The second person will hold a board or block of wood between 1 and 3 inches thick, right where the bar would touch the chest. Lower the bar so it touches the board, then press the bar back up to the start position. The decreased range of motion may let you use as much or more weight than your regular bench press and can help you develop a stronger lockout. If you do not have the equipment necessary to perform a board press, you can substitute a floor press. Floor Press In this variation, you will lay on the floor, sans bench, and set the bar lower in the rack accordingly. Slowly lower the bar towards your chest. The elbows will touch the floor before the bar is able to touch the chest, and the same principle as the board press can be achieved. Banded Bench Press Set the bench up inside the rack. Loop resistance bands around the sleeves of the bar and attach them to a stable part of the rack. As you lower the bar, the band will be given more slack, making the bar lighter at the bottom position. As you press the bar back up, the band will again get tighter, making the top of the bench press harder. 
Since the top half of the bench is generally easier because of the improved leverage through less flex joints, bands allow you to overload only the relatively easier portion of the movement. Since the band is adding resistance of its own, you will need to put significantly less weight on the bar in the form of plates. Dumbbell Bench Press Grab two equally weighted dumbbells and get them into the top position. This may require a helper if the dumbbells are heavy. Stay tight and perform the bench press. Since the center of the barbell will no longer hit your chest, forcing you to stop, the range of motion with dumbbells can be slightly longer. Lower the dumbbells as far as you comfortably can without losing tightness and while maintaining vertical forearms. If your bench press progress has stalled, it's likely that more benching volume is required to keep progressing. If you have previously been benching two times per week, consider benching three times per week. However, since the load of three regular heavy bench sessions per week may be difficult to adapt to, consider adding one of these variations in place of one of your regular bench days. While the most effective variation will be goal dependent, consider starting with one of the underload variations that force you to use less weight while still keeping the relative intensity reasonably high. As always, if you have any questions regarding your program, don't hesitate to reach out to a Rehab Gym staff member.